Hey guys, welcome back. Today we're going to be making an Aperture Cap for a PBS 14. As always, I've made the STL files available to download for free on Thingiverse. You can see the link down below to take you over there to get your files. This build is going to be super simple. It consists of only two 3D printed parts, a little bit of elastic, and a toothpick. The idea behind an Aperture Cap is to augment the depth of field through a night vision device like this instead of having to manually adjust focus onto something close up and then adjust it again to see something far away you can just adjust your focus to see something far away generally at infinity and then you can toss your protective cap back over and by decreasing the aperture size it'll bring everything into focus all at once it's similar with photography and f-stops so if you understand that you'll understand this so if you want to get more to the science of it you can just uh, do some research on f-stops and, and you'll get the idea of the optics principles but anyways let's get started this is super simple it only consists of two main parts really you've got your cap and then you've got your aperture ring or aperture disc to assemble all you have to do is take this little post right here and press it through that off-center hole right there in the cap. There you go, it snapped into place. As is, it'll be pretty loose spinning on here. So what you do here is inside that stud, there's a little hole in the center that goes all the way through. You take just a standard toothpick and start shoving it through and that's gonna set the resistance for your detents. There's detents all the way around on this disc for each aperture size. And the further you push the toothpick in, the more resistance there will be to switch between the different apertures. I am only mostly only use the uh, 5.5 and the 1.5 aperture. Really I only, really I mainly just leave it on the 5.5 all the time. But uh, I had extra space on the disc so I went ahead and put in a uh, 3.5 and a 2.5 also. Just in case your, your situations have something unique where some other uh, aperture size might be helpful to you but I push the toothpick in until I have a decent amount of resistance, but it's not hard to switch between the aperture sizes. And then you can just break it off. After that, a little bit that's sticking out on the front there, you just take a knife, cut that off, and then take just a little drop of super glue and put it on the back end just to make sure that that toothpick doesn't come out of there. Do want to make sure that I put a little bit too much super glue in there, so I want to make sure that I don't uh, let that sit and actually glue this disc to the cap, uh, or else I wouldn't be able to change aperture sizes. So uh, while that's drying, I'm probably going to keep on turning this a little bit just to make sure it doesn't stick. Then after that, just take a little bit of shot cord. Beat it through one of the holes, put a little overhand knot in it just like that. Pull out about this much. You can always uh, tailor this to your specific unit and how tight you want it to be fitting on there. You can figure that out pretty easily. Make sure to seal the end of your shot cord. Stick it through the hole, another little overhand knot. There we go, that feels pretty tight. Then just set the cap over the front of your PS14 and you can pull the elastic around the back. I route the elastic down through the inside of the switch and the little lanyard hole then around the outside of the thumb screw for my J-arm and it sits pretty nicely on the front of the PS14 like so. Whenever I want it on, I can obviously have it on, I can change my aperture sizes pretty easily. I'm normally leaving it on the bigger one. Whenever I want to have just full open lens, most light collection as I can get, all I have to do is pull it over into the side. That's 
nice and easy to do. In the past, you know, obviously I had this little rubber guy that stayed on the front there. Every time I'd use the BBS 14, I'd just pop it off and stick it in my pocket. It's a pain to keep up with, and this hole's really too small to be able to use it on the device to be able to change your depth of field. It just doesn't let enough light in to be effective. Uh, I find that this 5.5 lets enough light in whenever you're trying to do something up close or you're doing stuff at shorter ranges with a median amount of ambient light. But obviously if you want to have the full potential of all the light gathering capabilities, you'd want to just pop the cap off to the side. Anyways, really simple, easy build, files available on Thingiverse.